Well, let's uh, kind of jump right into it. Uh, people are wondering, where's the snow in Lancaster? Right. What happened? Right. Yeah, well, uh, it's, it's funny. I got an email from somebody about an hour ago who lives in Washington Borough, down along the river, and she said that she's had no snow, but looks across the river uh, onto the hills in York, and they're all white. Uh, so in that short distance of looking across the river, she can see snow. And that, unfortunately, it was just a, a few degrees too warm here in Lancaster. By the time the snow got here around daybreak, uh, the atmosphere was too warm. Uh, west of the river, the, the forecast worked out perfectly. Three to four inches in York, uh, five to six inches in uh, you know Gettysburg, Chambersburg, Shippensburg, and then a foot or more as you get into the mountains of uh, West Virginia, Virginia, Central Maryland. So west of the river and to the south and west, perfect forecast. Lancaster, it's busting. Uh, why, why is that? Why is it a miss to be that Many right. Well, yeah, there's, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I discussed with Tom yesterday a couple of things. Uh, first of all, there'd be a very sharp northern edge to the storm. And indeed, that sharp northern edge is right around the turnpike. The, the, the uh, heaviest precipitation never got up into Lancaster, really. Uh, and with a late winter storm like this, it's the falling snow, the, the heavy precipitation that actually helps cool the atmosphere. So when we woke up to a light mix of rain and snow, that was a signal right there. It just wasn't going to happen in Lancaster. It's tough to get these storms to go back to snow uh, in March. Once the sun comes up, you know, the sun angle right now, uh, the strength of the sun coming through the clouds is the same as a cloudy day in early October. Um, and, and hence, uh, you know, during the midday hours, you know, we didn't have a prayer. Now, this evening, there's still an opportunity for a little bit of snow, especially across the higher terrain. Um, I had some reports, southern Lancaster County, down around the Buck, down around Truce, so Holtwood on the hills of an inch or two this morning, those folks could pick up another inch or two up on the hills late this afternoon, this evening. Whether any snow makes it like into Lancaster City, the lower urban areas, I'm not sure. I'm not going to rule out that there could be a coating or an inch in some spots this thing. But uh, the idea of three to six inches in Lancaster, that's not going to work out. Uh, again, maybe the higher terrain can get a couple of inches, but uh, the lower elevations where most people live, uh, unfortunately, it's mostly a rainstorm. Uh, besides those southern areas, were there anywhere else in the county that did get any anything beyond a seeing a flurry or a dusting yeah. today? Not that I know of. I, I, I kind of uh, imagine that maybe over in Welsh Mountain and eastern Lancaster County, perhaps up in the Furnace Hills, uh, where, again, you're about a 1,000 above sea level, those folks, maybe some places there, saw a coating to an inch this morning, and maybe they'll see an inch or two this evening. But really, it's west of the river. It's just its just remarkable. If you drive Route 30 west across the bridge at Columbia, in a matter of miles, the ground is white. In a matter of another few miles, you're in three to four inches. And then it's, by the time you get to Gettysburg, you're a half a foot of snow. So uh, really, just being farther west of the, uh, of the river, uh, you get more and more snow. Yeah. Uh, what, what's it like to, uh, I don't know if you want to view it as botching it in Lancaster or uh, or what, but when, when you uh, uh, get emails or people post on your uh, on your page, uh, you know, about missing yeah. it or are, are they, are these guys right. still relying on cows or the in cahoots with uh, yeah. toilet yeah. paper, milk? Well, and first of all, when you're, when you're dealing, yeah, when you're dealing with snowstorms, there's a segment of the population who are very emotional about snowstorms. And they've been starving for a storm. So, uh, you know, they feel they've been promised something and then they uh, vent to the meteorologists. And of course, we never promise anything. Uh, you know, we, we laid out the forecast as we best saw it. Millersville actually had one of the more conservative forecasts heading into the storm. There were times uh, the past two days where the weather service and AccuWeather were talking four to eight, six to 10 for Lancaster County. And we kept a, a steady forecast for three to six with less to the, to the north. Um, that was our forecast throughout because we recognized we were going to be very marginal. And, uh, of course, that didn't even work out, uh, at least for most folks. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, you have to have a thick skin in this business. That's something I teach our students. Uh, and, again, if you take a, a wider view of things, the forecast, the storm we've been talking about since last Friday, it formed and it verified beautifully uh, in terms of just about everywhere but in Lancaster. So uh, our, our viewers of our forecasts, and we have lots of them around the Mid-Atlantic region, they think we did a great job. Of course, the people in Lancaster think we did a terrible job. So, <laughs> um, 
I know you have to wrap up soon, but uh, what's what's down the pike? Is this uh, our winners, such as it was this yeah. year, last hurrah, or could we right. see anything? Well, I else? mean, this this was a this is a a beautiful setup, a classic setup, which is why you know I was very bullish on there being a snowstorm in the Mid Atlantic, and there has been one. Um, but uh, I, I doubt we're going to get a good setup like this. Uh, you know, this winter uh, there is a disturbance that's going to swing through here tomorrow night that uh, could bring a period of light snow or snow showers uh, and because it's coming under the cover of darkness uh, you know it, it could give us a coating to an inch perhaps uh, later Thursday night to around daybreak Friday it's not a big storm but it, it might whiten the ground in some places uh, beyond that we're gonna be heading up to the low 50s over the weekend maybe the upper 50s by Monday and then some cooler air week it's gonna be the typical March uh, roller coaster ride uh, Couple warm days, couple cool days, but in terms of a snow threat, this was the big one. Um, again, maybe a little bit of snow tomorrow night, but uh, uh, you know it, we're we're soon going to be closing the book on this winter. Okay, uh, Eric, thank you much. I know you have to go. I appreciate your time with us today. Have, have a good day now.